This World Cup has been fantastic. Well, unless you're German. Or Argentinian. Or Brazilian. Or Dutch. Or Italian. Sorry, this World Cup has been fantastic from a neutral point of view. Shocks, upsets, last minute goals, penalty shootouts, VAR, long range thunderbolts, own goals and goalkeeping howlers. It's had a bit of everything. But another reason Russia 2018 has been so good is down to the supporters. From the Japanese cleaning up after themselves, to these eccentric Senegalese fans, as much as HITC7s is the people's channel, the World Cup is the people's tournament. And here we celebrate that. Taken into account in this seven are the number of supporters who travelled, the atmosphere and noise they created, and the overall mark they left on the competition. Here are our seven best sets of fans at the 2018 World Cup. Brazil. Brazilian supporters always travel to World Cups in their droves, and 2018 was no exception. The South American Giants had the third highest ticket sales of any nation for the finals, trailing only the host Russia and the United States. The Brazilian supporters brought colour, volume, and their effervescent love of the game to Russia, four years on from hosting the tournament themselves. Unfortunately for Brazil, their team weren't quite as impressive as their supporters, and they were knocked out by Belgium in the quarterfinals. Iran Iranians are incredibly passionate about football, and anyone who subscribes to HITC7s will know that we have covered the Iranian people's love of the game in the past. It came as no surprise to us then that Iran enjoyed tremendous support at only their fifth World Cup Finals. Much like in 2014, Iran battled hard and were tough to beat, but were ultimately knocked out in the group stages. There were a large number of female Iranian fans at the tournament taking advantage of the fact that they are allowed to watch live football in Russia a luxury they are not afforded back home in Iran. That is a law Iranian women are currently fighting hard to overturn, and we, like all decent people, fully support them in their efforts. Mexico Mexicans love football as much as anyone, and their raw passion and support for their team could be seen and heard in Russia. Whilst their fans back home were supposedly causing earthquakes, those travelling Mexicans ranked sixth in terms of national ticket sales for the finals, and they weren't just there to make up the numbers. From pranking stewards to their newfound relationship with South Korea after the Koreans knocked Germany out of the World Cup, Mexico were good fun in Russia and deserved their place here. Iceland Like Iran, Iceland didn't have the most enormous following in Russia. Their entire population is just over 300,000 after all, but they certainly score highly in terms of making a lasting impression. Iceland have been football's fairy tale story over the last couple of years, from knocking England out of Euro 2016 finishing above Croatia to qualify for the 2018 World Cup, and drawing with Argentina at the tournament proper. They've almost become everyone's second team. Icelandic fans share a rare bond with their players in the modern game, and they back them vocally, most notably with their iconic Viking clap. Argentina Argentina's fans were noisy and impressive in Russia, whilst their team itself was deeply unimpressive and went out with a whimper. They took over 50,000 fans to the finals, and it sounded more like double that. In every game they played, the Argentinians comfortably outsung their opponents, just as they did on every train, plane, bus, and hotel they stayed in. The players they were cheering on narrowly squeaked through the group stages, before being beaten reasonably comfortably by France. Colombia I took some serious flack from some Colombians recently, following our video on the 7 dirtiest teams at the 2018 World Cup, so maybe this is redemption time. Whilst their players were unsavoury at times, their support was unquestionable. Only Russia, the USA, and Brazil sold more tickets for the finals than Colombia, and it showed. They vastly outnumbered their opposition fans at every game, and outsung them too. They gave their team enormous support, but were also an incredibly friendly and affable bunch for the most part too. Peru The group stages may seem like a while ago now, but if you cast your mind back a week or two, you'll know Peru were the right choice to top this seven. At their first World Cup since 1982, the Peruvians were keen to make the most of it. They sold more tickets than the English, Australians, and French, and their presence could certainly be felt. No team's fans created more of a carnival atmosphere than Peru, whose team played a similarly vibrant and exciting brand of football, winning the hearts of millions, but sadly not enough points to emerge from the group stages. So that's it for our 7. Let us know your thoughts and any other World Cup ideas you'd like to see from us in the comments, and as always, 
Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the people's channel of HITC7s. Also, we recently set up a Twitter account, so you can now follow us and get in touch. Our username is simply at HITC7s.